Okay, I picked up Chow Car one last hurrah for this trip. I actually have, well, I guess I had it yesterday, but I've eaten a little better the last couple of days. It hasn't been like total ridiculousness. We've had some salads and shit, so that's been good. We cooked, well, Lizzie cooked. I'm leaving, I'm just charging the car a little bit to see if it changes my route home. If it doesn't, I have to drive a different way. I'm gonna either sit here and wait for the car to charge and drive one route home that I always drive, or I just go a different way. And <laughs> it's the same amount of time of me sitting and waiting. And it's not like there's anything for me to do over here. You know, it's not like there's an arcade or a fucking, you know, an amusement park or water slide or anything like that. So I don't really have anything else for you. I have a lot of shit going on. I'm definitely gonna go home and sell some shoes. I'm getting rid of the shoe room. I have a lot of explaining to do about that, but just to throw the Hail Mary on you, like I'm definitely getting rid of the Sure. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> this is how I started this whole thing. Obviously, it, I've been here a while. It's been like over two weeks, which is kind of crazy. Having some time to reflect on what I want to do. I have a lot of choices to make. I don't know that I want to stay in Colorado. Not necessarily on camera, I've been saying it, but off camera a lot. I don't love Colorado. There's nothing, it's really busy now. Food is shitty to me. I don't think it's great. You know, it's busy. I'm not super in love with how crowded it is. I think Colorado is an amazing place, but I don't know if as much as I'm traveling, as much as I want to travel, if it's like the place I want to come home to all the time. You know what I mean? Like this place is beautiful. I've been saying a lot that I want to make more art, find time to make more art, be inspired to make more art. Essentially all my life is, is periods of collecting data, inspiration, and then spewing it out in some form. So I just, yeah, I just don't know. But I do know that I just still keep buying shoes. Like, I copped a bunch of shit while I was up here. And I still have a bunch of shit sitting there. And the shoe room was just a dream. You know, like, I said it. I was like, I want I want an apartment that seems like a 13-year-old or 13-year-old kid put together. And I, and I did it. I achieved it. And I think at this point, one, the whole culture surrounding all of this shit has gotten really aggravating to me. And I don't know if it's the culture itself. I'm using the term. I'm not going to keep doing the bunny ears, but you guys know I don't think it's a real culture. Culture of it all has just gotten really, really even worse. And it's starting to get to me to the point where I'm becoming even more cynical. I don't know if it was like this years ago when I stepped away, but holy shit, it's just crazy. And then the opinions people have have, like it's all good like I get it like we're all just like talking you know about opinions on stuff but some people take shit so seriously and just the shit that y'all are saying and do not y'all my all my toys it's like mostly on like Twitter and all this other stuff people on the channel know that this has moved into like a direction of life but like Twitter and you know even some of the people that I followed and we had like this community that that did revolve around boost like I don't necessarily want to see y'all copping an inside out fucking air max and calling it hot like some of y'all are working out your own shit and that's totally cool you know like you should be it's your life i'm working out my shit and my shit doesn't revolve around like seeing all this stuff all the time i don't i don't really give a fuck like, i can make jokes about shoes i get asked a lot but a lot of it's just kind of fucking annoying that's why i really like this release that came out with the um the Packers release because we didn't have to hear about it for months and months and months and months. It just came, went, boom, boom, boom. Some people are pissed, but if that shoe was made in like crazy numbers, it would just be sitting and just is what it is. But yeah, there's just a lot to it. So, um, that's basically a spew of the things I have going on right now. I don't really know. Also, Earn's on tour, going on tour, so I have to go home. I have to go home basically for this week and figure out what the fuck is going on. And my lease is up in Denver. My lease is, in, like, I have to let them know by June 1st if I'm going to renew. There's a few things going on. We'll have to just figure it out. But for right now, I'm eating this cheeseburger. Whoa, this is his new toy. Yeah, that's right, the 
mimosa. <laughs> That's what that is, a mimosa? This is ridiculous. I like that. This is ridiculous. This is insane. This is a crazy toy. He doesn't even care about it. Oh, he did. <laughs> Packages, though. Oh, what is this? Did you get this? I don't know because that was in the mailbox when I showed up, but that other package wasn't, so I'm not sure if it's this package. This is the other masterpiece bag from Japan. Oh, cool. I bought it for my birthday. Nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's track this. Let's see it. It's a pretty down toy. Can't see anything. You have to take a light. What is it? A car? A mini cleaner? It cleans the desk? You push it and the little brooms go. Oh, nice. I'll clean up the weed. Nice. That is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks. Holy shit. <clears throat> Mmm. All right, this is from Japan, for sure, of some sort. Oh, I have a trash can in here now. Ooh, step with Dragon Quest. I just really wanted these metal dudes. I found them one in Japan. The rest were sold out by the time I found them. This is the one I found in Japan. This one I just like because I have another version, like a clear version. No idea what the fuck Dragon Quest is even about. I do like trinkets. I know I said I'm gonna get rid of stuff and need to minimize. I need to, but trinkets are here to stay. I like trinkets. They're inspiring. All right, um, seller package is Office Depot or Office Max, which makes me feel like it's just stuff for shipping. And maybe Aaron just didn't open it. Toner cartridge. Wait, am I just on some sort of auto toner cartridge thing? Alex! Yeah? Did you order a toner? Yeah, I know you didn't. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just asking. Wait, there's no address on this box. Weird. I don't understand. There's just a toner for this cart for this thing that I have. Okay. At least I think I know. So all this stuff's not even here. I ordered a bunch of shit this week. I got my first pair of Ultra Boost 2019s. And I actually probably pulled the... I saw a color that I kind of liked. So I was like, fuck it. I literally bought it for science. For you guys. For the fucking people who are still here. Open and praying, wishing that I would just buy a pair of 2019s and tell you what I think. I bought it for you, really. I think this colorway is the, it was the nicest one at the time when I saw it, but now the three, there's three coming. You guys have already seen probably the Stan Smith, Stan Smith inspired Ultra Boost 2019. Although I still hate the angle of the cage, the painted stripes, they do wonders to distract your brain and your eye from seeing the horrible angle on the cage. I don't know why they put any of them out without painting them. Like, I have no idea. Um, don't do that anymore. Put the fucking stri <laughs> Never thought I'd say to not have subtle branding, but Jesus Christ, cage without the stripes looks like a band-aid or a used condom. Not good. And the fucking angle. That fucking angle. The Stan Smith one that is an EU only is dropping on May 20th. That's probably actually going to be a cop. Because I, I, I do believe everyone who tells me the 2019 is super comfortable. It's not that I don't believe you. It's the fact that I have too much shit already. I keep buying shoes, genuinely like the things that I buy, so I've, I've accumulated way too much. And no matter how often I have a sale, it just keeps stacking up, which is, if you don't, if you don't understand foreshadowing, then later on it's gonna be a surprise for you. Probably also don't think Homegirl is gonna burn down the fucking village, even though she has a dragon. What's up, Omar? The EU release is the Stan Smith looking colorway, the Japanese Asian release as well, and the US North American release. Also, for those of you that don't know, who don't seem to understand why they do that, why they do the three sectors, that's what the three stripes stand for. Three stripes in Adidas are for the three air, the three continents that they serve. That's, that's why. Just so you know why you're rocking three stripes. It's an international thing, you know? I still haven't been able to find any info about it. I haven't looked in like a week, but you know, as far as I understood, the whole asterisk campaign was about one, money going back into like schools or troubled youth. Adidas yet again has not explained it like that well from what I can tell. I saw a few things, but nothing crazy. I know Kid Cudi was involved at some point. I think, I said I know. I think Kid Cudi was involved at some point. Now Kid Cudi is doing something with Adidas. I don't think I'm excited about it. I get it from a brand perspective. Personally, I like Kid Cudi. I love Kid Cudi, honestly. He's a whole like cross promotion with rappers just cause I don't necessarily vibe with. If it's just a way for him to facilitate ideas, um, then I'm just gonna wait and see what he does. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I don't know. My favorite joke that I made about it though is, I didn't know shoes could hum. Let's remember that I am a comedian. 
Ooh, Ultra Boost 2.0 with no shoe silhouette. For those of you that are new here in class, that means it's limited. Usually under 2,000 pairs, I think. <laughs> I don't actually know. I've heard between 2,000 and 7,000. I really <laughs> don't, don't know at all. All right, asterisk. 2.0 is the new 1.0, remember that. I've been saying it. 2.0 has all the makings of a sea biscuit story, you know. And this, you know, the 3.0 New York Knicks colorway that people are gonna compare this one to. That one does not pop like this one does. This bitch pops. This is a, a great looking shoe. Like I just, the colorway is just perfect. I'm not gonna review it because you already know what it is. It's a fucking three, four tone shoe with black boots. This back tab is a brand new thing that that don't think they've done before, but I could be wrong, because I'm not a professional reviewer anymore, because Adidas is a player hater. Silver branding is nice on the white with the black, I have to say. But yeah, you got that. Ooh, that's interesting. It's not only just a 2.0, it has the mesh in the back, so it's like a 1.5, you know what I'm saying? This is the shit that people argue about on Twitter, like the tech account, like, oh shit, the leather, the cage is leather? Dog. I mean, it's not real leather. There's no genuine leather tag, so you know it's not real, but it does have like a baseball glove vibe. That's, I didn't expect that. Right. I like this shoe a lot. I don't, this asterisk thing, probably coming off though. I call it a lace ad glove. I, I, can't, I can't even remember what I call things anymore because the internet has brainwashed me. Dubre, the Dubre. Is it a Dubre? Let me know. Uh, yeah, shoe sick. It sold out, I don't know. Did it sell out? I honestly don't know if it sold out. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna throw Adidas a bone here. You're gonna have to go check and see. If I don't, I don't think that it did. I think you can still get the shoe. And I don't know that it's exclusive to anywhere, but it is, it does look like it is limited. And it's that, you know, I think that it should be limited because it would be smart for Adidas to start limiting the shit because, well, it would be smart for Adidas to do that if they wanna make money. Obviously consumers are trained by the whole Jordan thing and they're just waiting for everything to go on sale. I feel like it's starting to bite some of y'all on the ass because you're missing out on shit that you want because you're busy looking for coupon codes. It's no shade directly to anyone. I'm just saying, I see it a lot. I'll just wait for it to go on the light. You gotta, you gotta be able to read. You gotta be able to read the market. You gotta be able to read the wave before you can ride it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this shoe's sick. I got a size 13 because all shoes moving forward, I think I size 13 because I don't really wear super thin socks anymore that often. Not for any reason, other than I really like them in a sock. It's not, I don't even find. God damn, I'm an asshole, I'm sorry. In Japan, I got some masterpiece bags. We talked about them. I'd really been wanting the backpack and I didn't cop it. <clears throat> I don't know why, I just didn't. And I was like fucking literally obsessing about it. So I literally tweeted one night at like, fucking probably late, I don't even know, that I just needed a favor in Japan. And my man came through and this got here so fast. Looked it up. Honestly, it was easier to have him order it for me and send it to me than it was for me to go from train to train to train to train, <laughs> finding the bag that I want and being indecisive and being crazy. Even though I enjoyed that experience. Cause I enjoy driving myself crazy. I do think. Oh, what's that? Ooh. And this is just a receipt, because Japan's so thorough, you get a little receipt sleeve. Official paperwork. Whoa, it extends. The bow is undone. <laughs> it really makes the experience uh, invigorating. We got another guy. Sick. Yeah, you can bring that in. Okay, guess what? What? I made up a recipe that doesn't taste bad. Nice. That's good. That is good news. Oh, that's smart. I don't even know it did that. The red ones have are beet. Mm. You made these? I didn't make the raviolis, no. but I made the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how I felt about these. I still don't know how I feel about these, to be honest. I saw these with Seth Fowler, and I said I didn't know. There's a green one and a blue one. I wonder what the inspiration is. The, the inspiration really the checkered chair, you think? Adidas or Oh, it's the Digi Jack pattern, Billionaire Boys Club. I didn't know that. I just thought it was a checkerboard. That makes more sense now that it has been pointed out. The red one is a friends and family exclusive. It's cool with me. Thank you, BBC. I do appreciate it. Shoes galore. I got a lot of shoes this week. I have like two more pairs. Oh, there's another box. Get out of here with this thing. <laughs> I don't want to unlace these, so I'm just going to cut this off. Since it's rubber.
Okay, so I didn't charge the car last night because I just like just didn't do shit. I actually even forgot to open. Pretty sure I know what it is. We'll get back. We'll get to that. I'm gonna go charge the car this morning. It's early. It's like 8:30. Run by the post office and grab this uh, package. I don't know why you're the only person that can't have a fucking so door. The, Everybody the time, man, I just, Anytime I pull up to anyone else. I was right. just in a top 10 situation and... Uh, On Fortnite? That must be why I just had to cruise around this block three times. <laughs> no, did you really? Yes, I was like, where is... I, you had me questioning if I forgot what your house was. Um... I feel like I should tell you, I smoked half a joint too, and now I'm like... You thought you should tell me you smoked half a joint? No, I had like shit like day. I was gonna tell you. It's like your and first day on the construction job, you're like, hey, hey boss, I know I told you I was clean, but... <laughs> I need you I to had, know. I had to hit half a joint on the way over here. Careful, they don't have a stop sign, this is shitty it's intersection. Okay. My, my car is fine. I know, I just like to, yeah. to give a heads up, I'm a real defensive driver. So Kodak really didn't do that much. Uh, he didn't do that much? Well... Turn that camera back on. He, he didn't do that much. No, he didn't do that much. He got caught with anything at all around him. The fact that he had a paragraph written and he didn't dot an I on it is a problem. My man needs to tighten the fuck up. That's it. There's but, no, no excuses. But I'm saying it's not like they, I thought like they caught him with another gun on him. And I'm like, what, what was is I wrong with into this it. Dude? Filled out paperwork to legally get a gun. And it said, are you currently in indictment for any crimes? And, and he, he checked no. off. No, I get Why? it, dude. So that is punishable by two to ten. People are saying they're kind of busting balls. Like, it's of stupid. Of course they are. Of course yeah. they are. Look around. I know, dude. I know. Look at Rolling Loud in general. Like, all this shit is like... I know. It's Any shot they shit. could take it's at all... something like that, I yeah, get it. If you're going to be dumb, you better be tough, bro. Cop package. Do we need to go anywhere else? Lao Wang? Oh, it's only on ten. A, I thought you were on a diet. That starts when I, I leave. You, I'm not even going to talk about no. your diet on the no. vlog, but I thought you were on a fucking... No, 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 that's... I thought you were back in starvation. Okay, no, no. Fucking no. Ulshowitz Urn no, has no. made a return. That's <laughs> fire, Ulshowitz right? Has yeah. made a Ulshowitz Urn has made a return. No, no, no. I... Speaking decided speaking I put up fire fucking Game of Thrones is terrible. Yeah. This is what everybody say so bad They didn't they had the option to do more episodes and they chose not to anyway <laughs> Let's go on with your fucking diet. So I just I put on a lot of weight at my worst I was like 220 at my worst at my heaviest <laughs> at my worst <laughs> you don't sound like I feel like we're at like I'm at a Weight Watchers <laughs> AA meeting like crossover at my worst I was fucking <laughs> sucking Twinkies for coat <laughs> Those are hard times Those you know? were hard times. and I was 220 <laughs> I got down to like 178. Yeah, you starved yourself. Yeah, but I was looking good. Yeah, but <laughs> good is subjective. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on though. Oh, and I'm not making fun of you. Yeah. I know you're not. But people will say looking good, and then some dude who's like 1% body fat with like a bunch of muscle on his frame is like, nah, bitch, I look good. It's relative. Yeah, relative, subjective. Yeah. Whichever it's yeah. you want to use. The problem is, is that you keep doing what you're doing is yo yoing. And what you're doing when you do this is you're burning off your bed too like you're not keeping track of the fact that you're like losing muscle yeah and when you lose muscle it's harder for you to burn fat naturally just by like sitting there so the more you do this the harder it's gonna be for you to continue this shit on you're not gonna be able to yo-yo back and forth forever well maybe it sounded like starvation but I think <laughs> when you say I'm gonna eat not protein and I should say out. protein and fat not not that I'm not eating fat because then it sounds like I'm not even cutting out like soda Desserts, which I've been just every time yeah, I go out to eat, I've been since Japan. Since yeah. Japan, we've definitely, I've definitely put yeah. on weight. But I, the difference yeah, between me and you that much. is, I just wait. I haven't put on as much. I as think you. you. Yeah, I feel like I feel. Maybe it's because I talk so much shit, and the internet <laughs> makes fun of me. But like, I feel like a, like a lot of people. I don't know, man. I and even people I know yeah, will. Bully. I don't even care what they think, but then it makes me have some self-realization. I look in the mirror and I go, yeah, I definitely am fatter. Like, my shirts feel tighter. Like, I'm just saying, when I'm out there this summer and we're going to have catering every day and there's going to be pies and mac and cheese and all, cheese and all this crazy shit. It's I'm the trying worst to, time to try to do this. I'm trying yeah. to tell myself out loud and tell the internet so I have to stick to it. I understand. I understand the process. When I got home yesterday, she was like, whoa. She's like... Put on a couple of burrito, like, but it's yeah, that is life, bro. Like, yeah, I know like, it is. Sometimes you're eating crazy and whatever, and then you feel like how you feel, where you're like, All right, I don't feel that good. Yeah, you start to move more and eat less or whatever, but you don't have to make these crazy, like, extremes <laughs> declarations of I am going to not eat anything but a granule of rice for a hundred days. And when you get to that small level, as soon as you do eat 
normally yeah. you're gonna balloon back up. Like, it's just a matter of fact. Like, that's almost what gave me a fucking eating disorder when I was in a bodybuilding, is not the realization that a lot of the weight I was losing wasn't fat, it was like water and other bullshit at times, and I was just like depleting myself. Every fucking week or month, I would just deplete myself, deplete myself, deplete myself, and then binge. Now you're yeah, really dangerous. I just ran 14 miles, I'm leaving the gym, I do some push-ups, then I'm gonna walk over. Here, your ass is actually gonna probably run. No. No, you know what? My knee is fucked up, dude. I haven't been able to run. all that fucking weight, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You've gone too far. I'm like, you've I... crossed the threshold now. You're going to be like one of them dudes in the, they make like, Doc Ellen's going to bring you on. You've gotten so fat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have to wheelbarrow me out yeah, of a bed and shit. Cut you out of the house, probably. Put Fortnite up in the roof so I could just lay there. That's really like... what's happened is Fortnite has made you fat. No, it has not. It has. Your obsession with Fortnite has come along around the same time that your waistline has expanded. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, because it doesn't stop me from doing it there. I don't sit there and eat while I play. It doesn't make sense. Hey, Fortnite on treadmill. That's the new move. All right. Ugh. But, um... We were pulling up to the house, and then I forgot we needed to come get the prints. So now we're at the print shop. Yeah. I'm writing the sizes as we go. Game of Thrones is boring. Dude, Game of Thrones is so cheesy. That's what everybody's saying, man. It's so bad. Painful to watch. How many? There's one episode left? Think. Dude, the scene with Jamie Lannister and the tall bitch. Yeah, that's so Oh good. my god. I was like, every chick knows a dude who smashes her out and then goes back to his ex. <laughs> yeah, I want to take your virginity. And then he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm a bad dude. You know, you shouldn't have fucked with me. I'm going, I'm going to fuck my sister now. Jesus. <laughs> that's basically what happened. He's look good. Nice. The prince. The prince are here. A lot is going to change in this room in the yeah, next few hours. A, a list. A list. Make a list. As we go, we'll write down the name and the size. Yeah, exactly. And then we can box this too. Yeah, let's go. We need light. That light? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Looks good. We gotta go to this country. All right, wolf pack. Isn't that all the way back down in Denver? Yeah, but if you're getting flour, um, a cut above, they have two strains. And they have one indica, one sativa. I bought a quarter of fucking indica. It was like, fuck this. Dude, that wolf pack place is ghetto, but fire. Yeah, that's the problem. I can run by there on my way. Oh, son of a bitch left these in the Gachapon thing to make me feel even worse about paying $50 a piece for them. He wants you to get the full Japanese experience. Bastard. He paid like $2 a piece for me. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. So, StockX stock started carrying bear brick. I don't really like, I don't love bear brick. It's not my favorite thing. I have a few. There's the A-Life ones. <laughs> yeah, you've had them there's for a, a while. Few, yeah, there's a few. There's a couple of small ones. They did a Godzilla. So here's what happened. Here's the real, true, actual story. In some weird video game world, I saw that they were doing bear bricks on StockX, so I just started looking at all the ones that were available. They didn't have the Godzilla ones available. I get a DM from a kid that's like, hey, are you by a chance looking for the bear brick Godzillas? And I was like, are you fucking kidding? Basically sold them to me for retail. And then I started scouring StockX for other shit. So this week I have bought like bear uh -oh. bricks, but these are the 400%. I bought thousand percent that are like this. They're like three feet tall. Two oh and my half God. Feet tall. I keep buying stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also trying to get rid of stuff. Yeah. And that's what's making me feel nuts. Like it's just time to just redecorate my life. But I think I'm pretty sure that this is a... Uh, Oh, but it's just the two that go with them? Yeah, they're just the 100% ones. When I first opened these yesterday, I was kind of just... Because I saw these with Seth in yeah. Japan, and I was like, he's like, what do you think of those? And I was like, eh, not my favorite, really. Like yeah, the wait, it's all dark. But I didn't know. This is like called the DigiJack pattern. So it's like their pattern. So that's kind of cool. I have to look into it though, because I don't know anything about it. I'm not going to front like I do. Yeah, but it's one of their original patterns. Yeah, I have to look into like how it's... Cool to be included. Nice. It's just funny how like your ego works. Because at first when I got them, it was just kind of like, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this. Yeah, and I don't know why. But then I like read it and I was like, oh, because I don't understand what it's about. And that's really where the shoe in the hype world is, is things come out with almost little to no explanation. So if you haven't taken the time to figure out why you're doing a certain thing, people will just comment and they're like, this is stupid. We're not taking the time to really... I do it too. I do it with a lot of shit. But it's really oh. easy with Nike. What? It went too, too high. It just stopped. What I was saying before the camera turned off is that it's easy to make fun of Nike because they keep making the same shoe. Bah! Hello. Welcome to today's edition of Sneaker Shopping with Dirty Aaron. The question is not what do I want, what do you want, and what are you going to get? You don't know. I'm going to keep a list. What? Alright, this is like... Say we just go. These I'm getting rid of because 
I don't fucking like sneaker blogs. High Snobiety got this. Like this has this shoe has literally zero to do with High Snobiety in my opinion. It's just because when Ultra Boost came out, it was a collab and it was great, a colorway you couldn't get. And yeah. it was the consortium hole punch, which is literally what drug me back into the 19s today. Yeah, it's a great color, it's fine, whatever. I never fucking wear it. I'm nice. so over where everything is with the left or right copper drop, top or bottom. How many pairs are you planning on getting? Fucking bread this, bread like I Everyone who flip-flops back and forth on everything. I don't know which, I have two pairs of these and one pair is a sample. Selling the samples. Those can go. Ooh. The wings can go. Oh, I see he's going, that's it. That's a statement, folks. It's time, like, bro, if oh. I regret any of this shit, I'll buy it again. It's too much, look at this. <laughs> this is, <sighs> that boost on, I'm not supposed to sell it, it's for sale. Fuck you, Adidas, I'm gonna sell it. I love you, yeah. Adidas, and people who take care of me, but. Sorry. Wags, no? Yes. Yes. Get out of here. No, those are staying. Well, then I'm running out of fucking He's thrilled. Oh, you only brought a couple pieces of tape, huh? I didn't know. Oh, you thought I was playing? I didn't know. You're playing really on row one, son. <laughs> Let's go. It's time. What's up? It's good. What's happening? How you doing? I can't keep up. I'm trying to tell you, son. Yeah. Just get rid of those. Because you never put in. Take those wags that I have. Yeah, I just never put them on because they're just like a 12 and a half. The Ronins can finally go. I love the shoe. Damn, never, shout out to Ronin. Never fucking wear them. I still think it's a hot ass shoe. It is one of my favorites. Right, I gotta change the camera angle here. This is it's a hell of a day. It's different though, huh? Yeah, look at that. It's not just faded. It's a different... I never even noticed that before, huh? You know, I'm out here doing my doing my thing. Come over one, two, three. The kit ones. Yeah. I don't you, want... Cause you, the agil I just don't wear the... I like, again, this is all when shit was being introduced. All when Boost was like being put on the models to try out. Yeah. I don't wear, like, they're hard. Like, that's a hard ass shoe for sure. Yeah. Super tough. But, like, I just don't like this knit. Yeah. As much as it's like, okay, it's not Sweet. what I'm going for. Yeah. You know, I'm like, y'all think these mineral greens are going, but they're not. Because the 2.0 is the new 1.0 before the motherfucking 1.0 became the old 2.0. Oh, you know what I'm shit. saying? Do you know what I'm saying? These agilities can go. These NMDs can go. These NMDs can go. Wait, wait, wait. What's wrong with you? <sighs> The 19s are here. Like boxing. Well, wait. The creams can go. What? As much as I love the salmon breeze, they're out the door. Too many great tones though. Kits and the um, look alike. You can take those. You can take the aces, the hollows, the stripes, and the green as teal. What is even hidden back there? The black wings? They, yeah. Those can go. The Chinese New Year 1.0 can go. I can tape on my butt. It's gonna go. Holy shit. These can go. These. Wait, all except for what? The, the white ones that are pushed back. Oh my god. So I got this white Columbia jacket. Yeah. I also the other day purchased the purple nice. snowflakes. Because I don't have, I won't have the whole collection. It's true, you need the whole because collection. Because I'm a maniac. Because I need the whole collection as I get rid of the other things that I need in the whole collection. And while we're liquidating. The key is stick around, boys and girls. You might get a deal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And also while liquidating, all these boxes have been in the way with some extra hoodies that we yeah, have laying someone around. someone asked me about mystery bags the other day and I said, I don't think we really have enough shit for mystery bags. But we do. It's just hoodies. So now there's a mystery bag drop tonight. Hoodie we decided. mystery bag. Brands in their account. But we also have dead stock shoes up here that we have. Yeah, we just opened the closet and found there's 10 more pairs. Oh, yeah, Shirts all white, are... All white pair, those can go. All right, wait, where's the tape? I didn't even know these Tearing were okay. through shit. Oh, I still have these? Nice. This can go. Okay. Invincibles, gone. Oh yeah, those can go. Gone. What are those, the Silver Arrows? The United Arrows. United What's Arrows. Silver Arrow, a bootleg Marvel character. Yeah. Cool, so without opening everything and going through it, it does look like everything's here. Okay, then we're gonna come by a little later and pull all this stuff so we can be ready to print. Perfect, sounds good. We'll have all the box separated. Bran, let's pick up the pace. Hey, you got our one now. That's that's the collection. It's gone, I and think then there's another pair of soul boxes though, and another pair. Of didn't you sell the soul box other ones last time? I almost swear you did, no, dude. There's a whole another another pair. Jeez, I can't remember for sure, but I could have sworn that there's another. There's at least another pair of NMDs. The nice kicks, right? So yeah. Eight into the year, Teddy's first pair of nineties. <laughs> yeah, sorry I didn't run out and just. Top the ugliest bit. I don't know why the fuck Adidas didn't do the three that they're releasing the 20th first. If they had released those three first, 
It would have changed the perception of the so show. much. Yeah. Because, like, even just releasing them with the stripes on the sides changes how ugly that goddamn cage looks. It's almost like they got so cocky, they are like, they'll follow us wherever. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, we won't, bitch. It's for function. I'm like, okay. So is a fucking Mercedes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shit still looks good. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's it's people's true. new thing. Like, well, these are made just strictly for function. Like, nothing is made strictly for function. Yeah, it's gotta happen. They even color screwdriver handles. Why? Because yeah. people buy things for the way they look. It's very true. Ding dongs. I get it. The shoe was made for running. Well, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Some of us are running a motherfucking game and running a business. Going on. Someone asked me if these are these weren't on Adidas.com, they were somewhere else. I can't remember which oneness. Nice. The colorway though, I haven't seen anywhere else. The box color does not even look the same. <laughs> oh shit. This isn't even the right shoe. Unless the lighting in here is just so Yeah, familiar. I can't tell with this green shit. Oh, it's minty. Wait, I thought yours was bluer. Yeah, this isn't the right shoe at all. Well that's a good looking one. No, it's not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, bro, this is not the fucking same shoe. It doesn't even have the same color stripes. Stripes, the heel cup, yeah. everything's different. Or wait, dude, you said you ordered the what pair? Could they be coming early or you just ordered them today? What are you talking about? You said you ordered one other pair of 19. Yes. You're asking me if this is the other pair that I ordered today? Yeah. Do you think oh, you I ordered it today. Pair? No matter what, Ern, don't you think I would know that this is not the correct shoe, that I know that I didn't order this color? Um, yeah. No, I know you didn't order this color for the blue, but I didn't know if maybe this was one of those other ones you ordered. What other ones? Why would I not know that I ordered a green pair of shoes, Ern? Well, no, that's true. What are, they... are you talking about? I don't know. You're fucking ridiculous. We've got the wrong shoes. Yeah, this is, I'm not even putting these on my feet. So much for that unboxing. It uh, looks like we've got the wrong shoe here. I'm gonna email one this right now. My bear brick on StockX just got canceled. No, the thousand percent Godzilla? The shining one. Oh shit. Because it didn't pass authentication. Mm. That's my guy got. Thank you StockX. Yeah. Tomorrow the Packers get here. Oh, that's what's up. Do they I think, really? I think so. I know, I told you I already ordered the Ultra Boost 19 for America. That's what was confusing Yeah, me. those are dark I get it, but you still know the morning. color. I get it. Now it's making sense to me. So the mystery bags are popping off, then off to Superior to stack this shit and get a print. Ooh, and the cage is leather. It's not. Ooh. Oh, It's no? like baseball gloves. Feel it. Even better. It Wait till I tell like, John. I know baseball gloves. Gotta make sure I have everything done before the Hate Breed concert tonight. Are you really going to see a Hate Breed concert? Be careful. Really? Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I was just expecting to get roasted. I mean, yeah. I'm that's... only going because my friend's in an opening band, a kid from Woodstock that I grew up with and stuff, so. I've seen people carried out uh, on like stretchers at Hate Breed shows. North Carolina, they're like rednecks. And they go Ooh. out and they're like, oh, y'all do like slam dancing? And they like go out there trying to fight. Like they don't understand the culture. So they just go out there like, dude, I've seen people get this. Fucking ass beat at a hate breed show. Alex is over here heating oil green cheese. Don't get this green cheese. No, I'm not trying any that. subs. I'm just mm -hmm. cutting that shit out just for 30 days. Okay. The problem is, it's not that I don't like cheese. Oh. It's I can't eat oh, cheese. Oh, I, I, I don't. I don't care. I can't eat it in moderation, so I'm gonna cut it out completely, so that when I come back to it, I still don't eat it in moderation. Well, <laughs> that's the plan. I think I'm addicted to queso. <laughs> <laughs> I came outside to smoke a joint now all of a sudden I'm going to the goddamn grocery store. Alexa! I didn't bring the camera in the grocery store, but while in the grocery store I stole a lady's cart by accident. I started sweet putting our lady. Yeah, sweet old lady. I stole her cart. I started putting our stuff in it and I didn't realize until we went to check out. <laughs> and I was like, Alex, you got cabbage? That's weird. I had taken someone's cart. So that was pretty entertaining. I hear jacking carts, dog. Cart jacker. Stay jacking these carts, boy. Dog, I gotta say, I'm hype on these. I know this is about getting rid of the shits. Well, not the shit, getting rid of shit. But this, I've been staring at these all day. This shit makes me feel, look at these makes me feel good. I remember 2.0. 2.0 hype was like my favorite, you know? The end of 1.0, beginning of 2.0 was fun. Fun time. People hated on the 2.0 pattern. Um, all right, so I just got back from the dispensary. Ern is at the 
whatchamacallit, print shop. Me and Alex went to the store, bought a bunch of shit. Look at this, I'm crushing it. I have been drinking sodas, but I'm cutting back. So we're back to like Zevias and waters, and but I have I've been crushing it. We're gonna have these Beyond Burgers and shit. Imagine Burger, Incredible Burger, I don't know what the fuck it's called. They're good, I fuck with it. I'm trying to eat less meat than eat. A single vegetable, I don't think, other than a chili. I had a, well, I had one salad while I was in New Mexico, so I just physically feel slower. So I'm gonna get some of that stuff, plant-based things. So another thing that happened in New Mexico, which I don't think actually made it onto the vlog, is the Puffco Peak that I left here with. This one broke. It does not work at all. So that one stopped working. And then I went down to Santa Fe, I drove an hour and a half, and bought another one, and this one also does not work. This one worked for like two days and crapped out. So Puffco, no, I don't know. Now, they will take care of it apparently. I have to like email support and do all that. So I'm going to, but I'm not sure, man. I'm not really, I liked the Puffco. They just kind of seem like super hit or miss right now. They definitely owe me uh, like almost 800 bucks for sure. Cause them shit's got your replay. Speaking of which, oneness today, check my email to make sure, reached out. So those shoes came in, they were the wrong color. My main concern with the whole thing was that that basically that they weren't, I thought maybe they got the color cut. So back in the day when like 2.0 was popping and shit, people would get colors wrong. They would post like sample photos or that would happen a lot. People would post like an old sample that never made it to production. And so sometimes we would buy shoes, a completely different color would show up. So my first concern today was that that color just didn't exist. <laughs> But it seems like Oneness is taking care of it. Other shoe coming out to me already, and I think they're gonna let me keep the other shoe if I'm reading the email right. Reached out immediately, which was really cool of them. But yeah, shout out to Oneness. Hopefully that shoe comes in. I did cop the all blue, the USA 19. I'm probably gonna get all three of these regionals, to be honest. I mean, 2019s actually have me excited. Like, I feel excited, which is a weird thing because I'm, I'm letting go of a lot of stuff. I want to make room for a lot of stuff. And when I buy things now to check them out or whatever, I'll probably let things go just a lot easier. I just don't need to accumulate so much in the shoe department. The trinket department, the toy department, obviously turn up. I'm even not going to try and turn up there. I just like, I need stuff that inspires me. And shoes inspire me to a degree. It's only like a little piece, like a little, little piece, you know? It's a little piece. It's too much. And I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I, do, I honestly, to be 100% with you guys and not like hide anything, I don't know if I'm going to stay in Colorado. Uh, I really like Taos. It's chill. It's quiet. It's whatever. I don't know what to do. It really is going to come down to like a few schematics here and there. And no matter what, I'm going to be spending more time in Taos. I, I honestly just have so much to think about and weigh out. I'm headed to Chicago soon. I have to go back up to Taos for the service. Ern's hitting the road next week. I'm going to meet him on the road in a couple of spots. There's a lot. A lot going on. There's still the drops, like there's a mystery bag drop for friends and family tonight. Public tomorrow if anything's left. Meta God is shipping for friends and family. Eternal a take is shipping from that pre-order. And Meta God will drop for the public in a couple of weeks. We just got the prints today. Here is the 400% Godzilla. Ooh, look at you. I like you. Put you over here. Chill there. That's the regular one. I also want to look into like, I want to make toys as I've stated. Working with companies kind of seems like a pain in the ass. I want to look into like if I can do it with a 3D printer. I don't know the limitations of 3D printing. I don't know anything about 3D printing at all. The flaming Godzilla. I like their clear ears. It makes it not look like a bear so much, but it's still a bear. So yeah, StockX has started to sell bear bricks, which is dangerous, and other toys. That's dangerous. I've definitely ordered some shit. And they hooked me up today, you know, again, another company today. Good shit, always good shit, fucking with the good people. I had ordered the Shining Bear Brick. I had gotten it for retail, and then it didn't pass inspection today. Used, jacked up, fake. I don't know, but it didn't pass, so I didn't make it. We're not getting that one, but shout out to StockX for that. I used StockX. I think these are, this size is actually available on StockX. These did not come from there because they weren't on there the other day. I saw the other day that one size was on there. Someone tagged me in it, but I have no idea. Shoe sale, I don't know when, but it's coming soon. Be, be ready. Friends and family, you're obviously going to get first crack. I went and got weed. There's a lot. This is a vlog, bro. We're busy today. It's only fucking 412. We're going to be able to do a 420 dab. Pure Kush. Heavy Indica. Pure. 
Kush. And then rosin sauce, because everyone's always fucking telling me to smoke rosin. And shout out to uh, Laser Cat. Got me on the friends and family list of Laser Cat. I don't know where to go get it yet, but I'm on the list. I don't know who made this. Connoisseurs. This is definitely a sativa. So, lemon cookies. Whew. Good day. 